One. <laughs> Down the blocks, Chris Young, Tom Crawford here at Grand Traverse Pie Company on a Friday afternoon, March 1, 2024. Yes. Uh, 2024 uh, started out great uh, if you're a Michigan fan, football. Uh, basketball has been an absolute train wreck. And uh, the accidents keep happening. A 30-point no. debacle last night to lowly Rutgers. Now, Rutgers, Chris Young, former Wolverine pivot man, my expert, uh, is ranked like 310, 300, somewhere in the 300s. There's 360 teams in Division One. Yeah. Offensively, Rutgers is in the 300s. They're well, that bad. And well, they scored and 82 points. They scored 82 points against Michigan, and their previous game against Maryland four days ago or whatever, they scored a total of 46 points. Yeah. Which so, was like the lowest total in, in, I think, eight or ten seasons in the big time. I have found out, people, what Michigan is, this team is really good at is making other teams feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. They got that down good to a confidence size. Boost. They, they're very good at boosting guys' confidence. Oh, yeah. Cliff Amore last night. They should night. be motivational speakers. Oh, my right? God. You Cliff Amore, he, he now thinks it. he's competing with Zach Eady for National Player of the Year, the way they let him play last night. Like, it's it's unbelievable what they're, what they're doing for guys' confidence. Which oh, is, my God. You know, it's, it's a way of going about things. So, uh, we're at 3-15 and 15, Michigan Wolverines, 3-15 and 15, the Big Ten play. Eight wins and uh, what are we at? Twenty-one losses right now. They're setting all kinds of records uh, and of, of you know bad records, yeah. infamous type records. Yes. You know, of negativity, uh, most losses, percentage losses, worst team. This is the worst team. This is the worst Michigan basketball team I've ever seen, and I've been watching them since '64. Well, and and you can honestly say that sitting next to me, who was part of some, yeah, some that, not part, very good Michigan basketball team. I didn't bring it up. Teams. You brought it up. You I, 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 it, it is. It's facts are facts. History is history. It is what it is. But you know, the the one thing I could say about the teams that I played for, you know, we didn't always have the best talent. Obviously, like we got you know blown out by teams at home and on the road and did different things. The five guys that were on the floor when we were playing, you could never say that it didn't look like we were playing hard. We were we were I trying. Agree. We didn't have the talent. We didn't have. We had a my senior year. God bless him. We had a walk on. Starting point guard who couldn't shoot. Who is that? Mike Copperson. Oh, Copperson. Love Mike Copperson. I love that, that guy. Mike couldn't shoot a lick. I'm sure and he's some kind of CEO or doctor. Oh, yeah, or something. he is. He's, he's, you he's know, somewhere up. Oh, there. yeah, way, way he's up. He's in outer there. space. Yes. Like success. Way up there, success wise. Yeah. But, you know, we at least played hard. We yeah. were diving into the crowd. We were, we were, you know, slapping the floor. We were, we were doing everything that we can. We just didn't have the talent to do it. Yeah. Now, this Michigan basketball team, they clearly. Namari Burnett's a five star. They've got the talent. Yeah. They just they they just There's they look like they just last, last night especially they just half of them look like they didn't even care. They didn't care. They had a I don't give a shit look to them early on. Fourteen to one. And even Scarlet Knights. And even and even T. Will who like this is it man like there's there's you know basically no tomorrow. He even kind of had that look on his face yeah. and and you didn't really notice it. Okay, you notice it in the score. You didn't notice it until Will Cheddar came in, and then Cheddar comes in and the guy is just. Just the passion is just oozing off of this kid, and yeah. and there was there it, you would think that would be somewhat but contagious. He's a lone maybe he wolf. would maybe he would get some guys going, and there was there was you nothing. You can't there lead was nothing team. There. You can't lead this team. This yeah. team is unleadable. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, and then you try and plug Doug back into the into the offense on the road, and the guys kind of look lost with Doug out there. Yeah. What are you doing with a dark uniform on here? I mean, yeah, they, 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 they just seem lost. Yeah. Uh, just, it was bad. I thought, you know, and I kept watching, kept watching. I said, I have to watch this. I have to be able to register. I have mm -hmm. to be able to talk about how bad, legitimately, how bad this team is. Mm -hmm. And they are horrible. If there's not a change, then Michigan, the University of Michigan doesn't care about basketball. You've got, you can't accept this product yeah. without sending a message to your fan base, to your donor base. Listen, we care. We want a competitive team. The fact that Michigan is a 14 seed out of 14 in the Big Ten tournament, they had that clinched weeks ago. Yep. They're the laughing stock. They're uh, the confidence builders, as I said, for other, other teams. And, and, and they're only two years removed from a Sweet 16 appearance. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand it. There's something wrong. Yeah. Uh, there's rumblings of... Other things we're going to find out. We'll see yep. when we'll it see when that hits. plays yep. out. Um, yep. I'm waiting. Um, <laughs> but um, wow! And Doug McDaniel. Then he's getting in. He's he's getting in this hissy fits with other players. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? You're down yeah. twenty. What are you talking smack? You're down twenty five. Yeah. 
when you're down 25, you're talking a little bit of smack to yeah. your teammates. You're talking smack to the other team, like a little bit of like pushing guys and stuff like that. Like, yeah. what are you doing, man? Like, you be a leader. Like, take control of this team. Tell them what they're supposed to do and lead by example. That's not how you do it. So you've you've basically why don't you recap what, what Michigan has coming up here? You're you're indicating it. So yeah, got, so oh, they've they've got <coughs> Ohio, Ohio State, State Ohio State on the road this weekend. That's four thirty on uh, Sunday. Yes, which you know. Three, four weeks ago, you would have thought, okay, Michigan's got a decent enough chance yeah. to go in there and, and steal a win and at make Ohio a coaching State. change. Yeah, yeah. just they, oh, and then Ohio State makes a coaching change, and they go three out of their last four. Mm -hmm. They beat Michigan State at Michigan State, which yeah. everyone knows you'd almost never do. And they are surging in the right direction. Surging. I mean, I, I don't they're see like an, They're like a New Year's Eve as an Uber driver. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're surging. They are, it's, it's unbelievable how well they are all playing. And, and a coaching change at this point of the season will do one of two things. It will either one totally way. divide a locker yeah. room and guys are just totally checked out, or it will galvanize everybody. And obviously it galvanizes Ohio State team. Thornton didn't even play last night. He didn't even play. <laughs> I, I, I think Michigan's got less of a chance of beating this Ohio State team than they do against beating Purdue this past weekend. Wow. I, th I, th I think they they are just going to get absolutely steamrolled, whether Doug plays or not. And, and that's a payback. And they've, had, and they've had a bunch of injuries or a bunch yeah. of illnesses, so who knows who's going to be there on Michigan's roster. But yeah. it's I don't think and they have a And that's a payback chance. game for Ohio State. Yes. It's a rival oh, they've game, had it at least in the eyes yes. of fans. They have uh, had it Even though football's not like – or basketball's not like football. Yeah. And then you have a week off to prepare for the Nebraska corner. For Nebraska, the Fighting Hoybergs. Uh, and they are, they are just one of those teams where – you never know what you're going to get from them shooting wise. Yeah, they're, like, they're, like you, a, they're like a box of chocolates. But, but you know they're going to come in and they are going to play incredibly hard, incredibly intense. And if they make their shots, Michigan they, will, Michigan lose, will lose by they 20. They lost this week. Yeah, they lost this week. Who did they lose to? They lost to. Who was it? Oh, geez. Um, a game they could have won. A tough Mi game. Minnesota, maybe? Who was, uh, I don't remember who it was. But anyway, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. But if, if they that come in and, and, and they make some of their shots, Michigan will lose by 20. If, yeah. if they're missing their shots and they're still playing with that Ohio intensity, State. They'll still, they'll, they, lose, they lose Ohio State. They might have lost Ohio State. Yeah. I don't know. It might have been one of those Ohio yeah, State wins. Yeah, but yeah. I, I don't see Michigan having enough, you know, moxie, even though it's going to be, you know, senior night and fan appreciation night and all that kind yeah. of stuff. I don't, I don't see them having enough to to, to beat Nebraska. Because okay. Nebraska's fighting for their tournament life also. Well, and that's a kick at that loss to Nebraska. I mean, Nebraska's on the bubble. I, mean, oh, I don't yeah. care how you say it. Absolutely. And, 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 and they, there's a risk-reward factor going to the Big Ten tournament for Nebraska. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't know what that's going to entail. Yes. But, uh, so uh, loss, 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 all the losses. that We had these all losses together. They're all going to be losses. Mm -hmm. Right? Because Michigan won't beat Ohio State. No. Or whoever they play. I don't care if they're playing Indiana, Penn State. No. Um, and I don't want to play Michigan State in the second round. No. Uh, I don't want three losses, and that could happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, anybody can beat Michigan. Anybody beat Michigan right now. I mean, yeah. Michigan is the, the, the confidence builder. So, uh, so record-wise, it's going to end at eight and uh, 24. twenty-four, and three and seventeen Big Ten play, uh, and you've lost like seventeen, eight. I don't know what the hell it is. No, what, what, what that is the ground, they lost eleven. If that isn't grounds for departure. I don't care. I don't. There's one more year. This heart attack. You know, I felt bad for Juwan Howard having a heart. Well, then don't coach if you can't. If you have a uh, an ailment like that, then don't coach. Or you mm -hmm. came back too early. you mm -hmm. This team is. Totally disconnected. Yeah. There's no play for coach mentality. No, no, no. That's for sure. There's dynamics wrong in the lock. They don't play. They don't help. Fundamentally, fundamentally, the weakest team I've ever seen in my oh life. Oh my gosh! In my life. Oh man! So, I've seen I've seen you, you basketball teams box out better. Than so these I was I was thinking about that last night after Michigan committed like their 11th turnover or whatever, and you know me and my buddy Tim we coach our sons on an under <coughs> youth 10 team here in East Lansing. Yeah. First thing we do at the beginning of practice. Every practice, it's like a John Beeline practice. We work on pivoting and yeah. passing. Yeah. And then as we get into more advanced things. You're not shooting the ball. We're yeah. not shooting the ball to start practice. It's the easiest it's, part of the game it's, it's, anyway. it's more advanced, yeah. but we're playing off of two feet. Right. Where I can't tell you how many times I saw guys penetrating the lane, jump, and they're like, yeah. oh, no, don't know what to do. And Burnett yeah. threw the ball right to Rutgers bench. Oh there wasn't there wasn't a single Michigan player on the else? other side of the Did court. Did you see that one box out? I'm at a hot oh. Remember that thing? The ball bounced way up in the air, and yeah. it, the sea parted. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, the jam yeah. took place. Yeah, it's it, it's amazing. No, they, it's they, a, it's they amazing just how wanted no to get out matches. of there. They wanted to get oh, out of there. They're, they're, they're all away. they're all just biting. Jersey Mike's or you know whatever that called. Whatever, whatever it's called now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's still the rack to me. I mean, regardless, the rack. It's just it's the rack. It always so, has been. So, um, 
I hope something comes down in this next. I, you gotta be, you gotta be fired. I mean, I, Juwan's not gonna quit. He no. told us that two weeks ago at the post game press. So that's not happening. I mean, the, the, I expect more. The only saving grace would be if we knew, okay, we've got you know one five star committed, two four stars that are committing, and we're, we're, we're in got the work, three guys. And, they and, got three and, we're, and we're in the works with these other guys because you know we're gonna lose a guy or two to the portal. Absolutely. And I don't if, know what more. You know? Well, I mean, if, if like, Juwan leaves, I mean, it's a completely, and it actually should be. A, 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 just other, a complete rebuild? Yeah. 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 Other, take Cheddar Cheese because he's yeah. going to give you a hustle play. Yep. Give him a preferred walk-on shot. I, I just get, That's where he's at. Okay. Yeah. Keep him there and get all new players. You know, because, I mean, you know, I mean, it worked at Texas Tech. They got a new coach and all new players. And it, it, it can work. It's worked at Minnesota, too. Exactly. This Ben Johnson. Yeah. It's, it's worth there. Wow. I mean, a couple years ago, he was a new coach, and he had new yeah. 11 new scholarship players yeah. with him. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it no, they work. might not it make it the takes, tournament. They're it takes be, time to yeah. do that. You know, you can't he have – two games you, last year. You, you can't have these, you know, these one-and-done guys. You know, you can't have these guys that are bouncing from team to team to team because then you don't develop anything. You don't get any continuity. You're mm-hmm. just like, well, we've got them for these nine months or whatever, and then off they go again. You know, I love doing this podcast with uh, Chris Young, my good friend, CY, down the blocks. And, uh, you know, we've done this, you know, like four years or something. And I enjoy it so much. I've enjoyed it this year, but it's been a painful enjoyment. Yes. I mean, I am so tired of talking about freaking losses and embarrassing losses. Yeah. And this is Michigan coming off the national championship in football. Mm -hmm. And you have a basketball team Mm -hmm. that looks like this. But, okay, i got to interrupt you. Go ahead. They did Absolutely play their asses off against Purdue last week. Well, I yeah, they they really did. They no, and okay, yeah, you're Purdue, right. Purdue obviously came in and saw them as not much of a threat at all because of the style that everyone except for Zach Eady played. Mm-hmm. But they did play. They did keep it interesting. It was a, a eight to ten point game basically the entire second half. Ball I, bounces I one that. way or the other. Like it's a five point game. They played like, hard. They played hard. That was probably their best performance all in all all season. The entire season. Yeah. But then but, the thing that pisses me off about that is that, why is that just one game? Well, the other thing is, um, and I know it's spring break. The spring break factor was there. No. But I've never, you know, even when CY was there in the Michigan State game when they bought up the low, the upper bowl, mm-hmm. this was a total purchase of the lower bowl. Yeah. You had Michigan high-level people, donors, and, you know, great seats, sell their seats to Purdue people. So oh. it was Mackey Arena North. Yes. Well, I've they, never been. I've been in that arena for six, since 1967 when it opened as a student events building. When it, it wasn't even called Chrysler then. I've never seen a, t- a team yield their home court like that Michigan yielded it. Well, fan wise, and, and I'm and I'm sure it wasn't five the, hours away. And I'm, and I'm sure it wasn't the donors and and you know all the 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 you know the people with the great seats calling up their Purdue friends and be like, hey, I got tickets. I'm yeah. sure they just put it out on the open marketplace well, yeah. and then the, you know the Purdue well, fans yeah, bought them, which is of course. I which understand. is fine. But don't. But, but but and then your question to T. Will in the post game press conference about how it being Mackie North and all yeah. that and he's disappointed. Well, dude, I get it. T. Will, I get it. I've been there. Yeah. I totally yeah, understand. I came running out he of that tunnel. He went to the bed. You know. Yeah, I came running out of that tunnel before our Michigan State game. I got booed so loud, I had to double check make sure we were playing at home. <laughs> like I, I totally understand it. Yeah, I remember. But that it, but it's All also, one. you know, you guys want to be treated as. Basically, as professionals, you want to yeah. get paid. You want your NIL and stuff like that. Well, as professionals, you got to put a better product out on the court. Right. You got to have something to make people spend. You know, even if the tickets are fifteen bucks each, you have got to have someone willing to spend their thirty bucks, and then a couple bucks for parking, a couple bucks for a hot dog, and maybe a beer. Like that, that all adds up $12 real fast. Beer. Yeah, for a twelve dollar beer. beer. You know, that all adds up real fast. And if yeah. you come out and you're watching a team that's just getting steamrolled well, they're game not in even a game out, and hard. they're not playing hard, they're not showing yeah. anything. You know. As a fan, I'm not going and spending my money on that. No. So I, I understand why all the Purdue fans came and bought up all the seats. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll meet again next week uh, after we this do. Ohio State yes. debacle. We'll see why, and we'll talk about. And maybe we'll have other things to talk about. Maybe we'll, maybe I'll get some inroads of what's going on with this program, and we're going to find out. I think no. we're going to find out in the next seven or ten days what's going to happen because. You know, are they going to wait till the end of the Big Ten tournament? I mean, that's a week from Wednesday. A week from Wednesday, this sucker is over with. Yeah, we got 10 days. 10 days. 10 it days. is over with. Yep. And then you have to decide what you want to do from that point forward. Mm-hmm. Ward Manuel. Yep. And uh, maybe. Well, and, then, hey, and then, like that next Thursday, if they, they lose in that Wednesday game, whoever they well, play. Well, they will. Which they probably will. Yeah. We'll know a whole lot that Thursday because I think we'll have two or three guys hit the portal 
I mean, just like instantly. That. Yes. And then we'll know what what the status is yeah. with Jawan, more yeah. than likely. We will. And and all of a sudden, this team will you know will start to figure things out. Yeah. But until then, like we're just kind of. We're, we're kind of like everybody else is looking at it like, well, okay, let's see what happens. Doody do do do. Anyway, we'll doody do up here next week here at, down in the blocks. Chris Young, Tom Crawford here. CY, Tom Crawford here at Grand Traverse Pie Company. Until next week. Thanks, Tom.